Hello everyone, uh, Sophie Wren from Live Wild and it's day two of lockdown as it's being called in the UK. So uh, yesterday I promised that I would take you with me on my daily walk um, and try and bring some connection to each other and to the rest of the natural world which is what Live Wild is all about and what we would have been hoping to bring on our courses which obviously we won't be running now for a bit um, so yeah hoping to bring a little bit of that through these videos um, yeah what an amazing day and I really hope that people watching get to go outside for their daily exercise and enjoy uh, this beautiful sunny clear day that uh, nature's provided for us feel really lucky and I already know what I'm going to talk about today because I came out here to eat my porridge this morning sat here and I saw a little flash of red um, against the mud and I'm just gonna try and show you a bit tricky with the camera but I'll give it my best so hopefully you can see this little red cup-like mushroom in the mud there So this is a scarlet elf cup mushroom um, and usually when there's one there's a lot more and I'm, they are really abundant in this garden. Um, they grow between sort of December this year actually and March um, so they're a winter mushroom and they're absolutely stunning and I'm gonna just find some more so I'll take you with me on the little treasure hunt that I was inspired to go on to hunt for these this morning. Just bringing my magnifying glass with me. I don't know if I'll be able to show you anything through it just because of holding the camera, but I just wanted to uh, offer it as a potential thing to take with you if you've got a magnifying glass um, on your walk, because it can be really fun to get up close to leaves or mushrooms um, and see them in a different way or anything really beetles um, spiders yeah and suddenly you've got a whole new landscape unfolding before your very eyes uh, so yes yeah, I was given this lovely owl magnifying glass a while back and, uh, it's always handy to have with me so yeah here we go on the scarlet elf cup treasure hunt took me around this corner and I am seeing a few on the ground but I won't make you dizzy by showing you each one. I'm gonna go to the spot where I happened upon uh, a good concentration of these. There we go. Ha, here it is. So, if these truly are the cups of the elves, then I guess this is their banqueting hall here in the gardens. Um, I should try and show you these. So, we've got cups of every size. Um, I would say some are more like goblets, some are more like dishes. So possibly been some kind of elven feast here in the night. Can I pick up this stick? I don't want to ruin this sort of lovely little ecosystem, so I'll just do this. Wow, look at the size of that one. That's huge. Um, maybe more like an elf bathtub. So you can see the red inside of the mushroom, scarlet inside cup shape um, and when these are a bit older they sort of flatten out or split apart so you might find something more more like where is it? This flat rather than a, a cup or even with the edges kind of tatty and that's the later stage um, the outside yeah is pale I'll just bring that nice big one up to show you again. 
can get underneath there. Pale outside. Um, the only other thing that looks like this one is the Ruby Elf Cup. And the two are so similar that I think um, even sort of hardcore mycologists find it hard to tell them apart. You have to get your microscopes out and get really nerdy. Um, <laughs> but both both of these um, are considered edible by some people. I'm saying by some people just as a slight sort of word of caution. I mean, I eat these elf cups regularly and a lot of foragers do. Um, but with any mushroom, after you've got your ID, oh, I've just seen this one that I can pick up because it's broken off. Here it is. Um, when you're sure of your ID, um, it's a good idea to try a little bit of a mushroom, if it's an edible mushroom, um, which Roger Phillips mushroom book, which is kind of my mushroom bible, does class this as an edible. Um, but yeah, cook, cook a little bit first when you eat a mushroom, just eat that, maybe just one cup and see how you react, if you do react. Um, the likelihood is you'll feel absolutely fine and then you'll know that you're safe. So that's just kind of a precautionary thing. Um, and then you're not kind of worrying about it as well, worrying about getting some kind of stomach upset because of it. So, um, I... Oh yeah, I saw this morning in the, the Roger Phillips that um, he classes these as edible but not worthwhile, which seemed a bit unfair. Um, my foraging friend and team colleague Miranda cooked us an amazing Scarlet Elf Cup dish last week, um, which I will ask her if she's willing to post a picture and maybe a little bit about the recipe in the comments, in case you want to have a go. Uh, some other ideas just for having a bit of fun with Scarlet Elf Cups um, is to yeah, take a closer look with a magnifying glass at the outside. Let's see what kind of strange landscape emerges from that. Um, I'll see if I can get anything on here. Maybe not. Is that the guy? Yeah. Wow. So yeah, I'm gonna play around. See what you can find. Um, I've also brought out a little bottle of last year's elderflower champagne which is very mature now, should be delicious. And uh, yeah, so my plan is to uh, clean off one of these little cups and um, use it elven style as a small vessel to drink a thimble's worth of elderflower champagne and make a toast to this beautiful day. Um, all right, wow, eight minutes again. Okay, eight minutes seems to be the length of my videos. That's fine. I hope it's been in some way interesting or connecting for you. Um, if you find Scarlet Elf Cups or you think you might have found them and uh, you want to share your pictures um, then that would be amazing. I'd love to hear anything really about how you're getting on in the comments and yeah we'll try and get that recipe off Miranda. Okay see you tomorrow everyone. Bye!